Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now, this has been one of the things I have been wanting to do since I first started out on this server, and a lot of you guys have wanted to see this too, is we are going to go out and tame a Pteranodon today. We have finally leveled up to level 38, which is when you can learn to make the Pteranodon saddle. I'll show you here in the Ingram's menu. So once you are level 38, which you can see here is still the, uh, basically anything beyond the level you are is dark. So this is one level higher than I am. So the Pteranodon saddle can be learned at level 38. Now I've already learned this Ingram. Normally you would click down here and learn it. And I also have all of the items I need to make it, which is 230 hide, 125 fiber, and 75 chitin or keratin. So I'm going to go ahead and craft this. I've had a lot of questions on the channel about how to craft the Pteranodon saddle and when you can get it. And so that's what I'm trying to do here is answer those questions in this video. All right. So now we have our Pteranodon saddle. So we are all set to go out and tame ourselves a Pteranodon. So what I'm going to do is run around here and check the levels of any Pteranodon I see. And if we find one that's a high level, I'm thinking um, at least 100 since the max level on this server is 150. Although I will also take, um, I would prefer to get something like 135 or higher, but that may be asking too much. There are a lot of Pteranodons on the map, but usually they are very low level. All right, none of those are gonna be something we tame. Um, now Pteranodons are also very common on the southern part of the map. So basically where I am, um, we're always covered in Pteranodons. There's always just tons of them around. So I'm definitely not worried about finding something to tame. I saw one. Was it that one? Where was it? No, it's right there. Okay. Pull out my spyglass again. Level 10. That's poop. We don't want that. All right. So I'm going to go around and look for a good level Pteranodon. And when I find one, I will bring you guys back and we will get to taming. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys. So I have found a Pteranodon. It's only been a few minutes. Um, we actually got really lucky. There was a level 115 here. I am going to go ahead and tame this because I'm not sure that we will be able to find a better level. Um, I may keep looking as we are wandering around, but eventually we are going to upgrade to an RG. So really this Pteranodon is just for temporary purposes. All right. Looks like she's going to land. So I'm going to go ahead and whistle this creature passive. And, hold on, there we go. Whistle it to follow me, which it should now be doing. All right, this is her. She's a nice green color, I do like that. Whoop, of course, the raptor bumped me and then lag. Can we, there we go. So bolas are definitely the best way to tame pteranodons in my experience. Raptor, can you not? There we go. She is a very pretty green. I like those white wings too. Now it should only take, yep. Let's see if I can save that arrow. Yes, all right. So um, they don't take a whole lot of trank arrows. They are very easy to tame. Um, this one actually has a decent amount of health for what it is. Cool. Now the best way to tame pteranodons is with dodo kibble, I do believe but um, I do not have any kibble made up. So we are just gonna use raw meat for this one. If I do eventually get into kibble and we do eventually find ourselves a higher level one, that may be a thing. But since RGs are so much better anyway, um, I may not bother to ever do a kibble tame with a pteranodon. Yeah, you just have all that meat. Whoop. They also tame up fairly quickly, so I'm not too worried about having to keep this one unconscious. I really love this color. This is a really cool color dino. 
And that is going to be a slow taming bar progress. All right. What level are you? Because we do have the materials. Oops. No, that's... Tap, tap, tap. Come on. Can I... There we go. Um, if we do find a higher level Pteranodon, we have the stuff to tame too. Uh, higher health, but a lower level. Interesting. So I wonder... I need to check out the stats on this Pteranodon um, and see what we're working with here. Can we get into your inventory? Thank you. That actually looks like a pretty good stam. Um, that's impressive. Okay, the oxygen stat looks a little high, unfortunately. The melee is okay. Um, the barrel roll does do quite a bit of damage, so it's useful for that. Okay, cool. So I think this is good. I think we are starting out with a decent amount of stamina, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, I'm going to see what percentage we're going to get to, because apparently pteranodons take forever to drop their food. I do have some narcotics, and I can, of course, run back to my base. It's it's really not that far. It's just over that away, um, as I've harvest fiber. All right, what are we gonna get? How many how many percents? Please be a lot, please. Two percent. Okay, this is gonna take quite a while then, um, if that's the case. This is a reason why you might want to use Dodo Kibble to tame these guys. Um, I may also need to go get more meat, too. I do have a lot, and I do have the raptor with me, so I can go hunt some. Okay, so I'm going to guard this guy and wait until it gets up, and I will bring you guys back when we have ourselves a pteranodon. Okay, guys, we are back, and real quick, um, we still have our level 115 pteranodon down there. But I also spotted this level 135 flying around, um, and so I just went ahead and knocked it out too. And as you can see, its stats are um, pretty comparable, but a little bit better. It does have slightly lower health, but the stamina is higher, um, the weight is a little bit higher, the melee is a lot higher. So we are going to go ahead and tame both of these, I think. Um, and then we can kind of decide which one we want to keep later because the 115 does actually have very high stamina and very high weight to begin with, which is pretty great. So we are going to need to go and collect quite a bit of meat, um, unfortunately, because these guys do use a lot of it. I do have plenty of narcotics to tame both of these guys, um, so there is that. But I just thought I would bring you guys back and show you the new pteranodon. So we are doing a double pteranodon tame today, and I am super excited about it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and collect a little bit more meat, and I will see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, we are back. This pteranodon is finally about to take its last bite. I believe it has been about three day-night cycles in game, so a very long time. I did end up using a soothing bomb on this pteranodon because it was losing taming effectiveness and it was such such a good level that I really wanted to um, keep as much effectiveness as I could. So I did end up getting a soothing bomb and using it on this pteranodon. Okay, finally we have the pteranodon. I'm very excited about this. It has been a long time. So I'm going to take these guys back to the base. Um, I think this lower level one is going to be our spare for now while we're going to take out this one as our main pteranodon. Okay, let's head back. Actually, I think... There we go. Now you're following. All right, so we're going to head back down this way and across the river. And they should both be following me. The flying creatures have better following than the ground creatures, I find. Which is excellent. Alright. It is getting a little dark. Let me pull out a torch here. Eh. Leap across the river. Almost. There we go. Okay. So, once we get back to base, um, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and take one of these pteranodons out for a test drive. 
Uh, I definitely want to start scouting out the redwoods because I have learned how to make a wooden tree platform and I am definitely close to doing that. Interesting. Someone is taming a raptor right next to my base. Where are my... Were those my creatures down here? They were. They are always running off to attack something, um, which I'm kind of okay with, but it is a little funny. All right, let's see if we can, there we go, dismount, and I'm going to make sure that this one is not following me. Let's go ahead and stop the one. And then maybe we can go ahead and stop these other two. Actually, let's just stop all. Yeah. All right. So that one, I only have one saddle, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. Eh, yes. Okay. Perfect. We just need to wait for the other one to land. I'm basically going to stack them up on top of my base right now and make sure that they are on passive. Um, why did, what? Why did you move? Oh, I know why. I told them to stop, but I didn't do it while I was on the raptor. All right, there we go. And now he's, like, landed on top of the raptor. Get off. Ugh, what a mess. What a mess. Can we... I'm glitched onto that pteranodon. There's just a lot of problems here. Okay. I'm going to leave this one down here for a second and take the saddle and go land the other one up on the roof. Let's go ahead and unequip this. Um, I could make... That's not what I want. <laughs> I could make another saddle, but it's not really in my plans today. Um, I am trying to save some chitin to do some armor crafting. There we go. Yeah. Where did it... Where did it go? Where did it go? Now I can't even see it. It was right here. He was glitched into that. I looked away for a second, and now the Pteranodon has just decided to fly off somewhere, which is fabulous. Really, that's great. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to be light so that I can actually find my Pteranodons properly, and then I will bring you guys back. Actually, this looks like it might be him. Yeah, this is her. Okay. All right, we are going to go ahead and equip that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ignore anybody who's trying to talk to me right now since I am recording. Um, just FYI for anyone watching the channel, if you are playing on this server, uh, I don't interact with people while I'm recording because it's just too hard to keep track of everything I'm doing. Ugh. Okay, and of course we fell all the way off, and that wasn't even what I wanted. Wasn't even what I wanted. This is just so much of a challenge. This is more of a challenge than it should be. Can we get out of my base, dude? Not cool. I don't like it when people come in my base. Um, it really frustrates me. Okay. Finally, give me that saddle back. All right. It is such a process getting saddles out of a creature's inventory because of the auto-equip function. Okay, let's see. Get this other pteranodon, the high-level one. Excellent. Okay, finally. Yeah, we're going to have to make another saddle at some point. Um, it may be quite a while before that happens, though. Um, okay, so since it is still dark, I'm going to go ahead and just go AFK for a little bit until it's light. And then we can test this thing out properly. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, hopefully this will be the last cut in this episode. It has been quite a few so far. And I am super excited about this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this Pteranodon stats. They are really amazing. Uh, so we have over 1,000 health, which is a great starting place for a Pteranodon. 1,350 stamina. I have not leveled anything up yet. Um, so this amount of stamina is just crazy. 
and then also 228 weight and 292.7 melee damage. So this is a super good Pteranodon. Um, we are definitely going to be using this one and keeping it around for a while. I'm kind of debating what I want to level. Probably Stam. I think 2k Stam is probably good for now. And then some weight. Just so that it can carry me and whatever else we need to get. I may or may not have just clicked on the 2 times XP add button. Um, we will never know other than that we have 2 times XP now, which is totally fine. And apparently a little bit of lag. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and fly around. Oh my goodness, the lag. Oh, please don't crash game. <laughs> it's bad. Um, whenever you are moving across the map, the lag is just pretty darn terrible, I have to say. Especially when there are big bases nearby, and this base right here is not small. So, all right, let's head out this way. I really wanna go and scope out the redwoods. Um, Man, I, I absolutely love the Redwoods. I am planning on moving there very soon. And so I want to see if there's actually any space left for for us to build, actually. Um, I am planning on building like a tree house. So hopefully this will work out. Unfortunately, tree platforms are extremely expensive. So we are going to need to go and raid some beaver dams at some point to get the cementing paste for them. Um, but other than that, I don't think it'll be too difficult. Oh, the lag. I really hope we don't lag out over the swamp. That would be terrible. Okay. Can we? Yes. Up. Lag. Oh, it's so bad. They really need to fix that issue. Um, I think of all the optimizations we can do, that's going to be the most important one, is to just make it so that you don't crash. Um, the game doesn't crash when you are flying around. Because as soon as you land and are walking, it's much better. It's just the flying that lags that bad for me. Okay. All right, so it looks pretty good. It looks like there's still plenty of space left. Um, I'm not seeing a ton of tree platforms in this area anyway. Okay. So let's... Actually, you know what we should do? We should turn on our barrel roll real quick. Um, so to get the barrel roll attack for your Pteranodon, you can actually go into your game controls and your options menu, and on the right multi-tap or the left multi-tap, whichever you prefer, um, you can actually choose what action you want to be on there. Normally, I have it set to my whistle menu because that's really easy, but I'm going to put it onto the reload alt attack 2, which now when you double tap um, not double tap, tap with two fingers on the right hand side of the screen, your Pteranodon will do the barrel roll, which is awesome. Okay, so that's the plan for that. Someone has a little bit of a base there. How's it looking near the mountain? I kind of want to be near water. I bet somebody has built over by the lake on the far side of the Redwoods. Um, it's a really nice spot for it. So we may end up building closer to the river or closer to um, the swamp here. I'm not sure yet. Oops. <laughs> Accidentally tried to grab something. Alright, let's see. What do we have? Who is building? Yes, someone is building here. Which I definitely expected. A lot of people are building here. So to avoid the lag, I'm not going to go near that. Actually, there's a Carno nearby. I am doing the Carno hunt quest right now. Um... Is that a Carno? And I'm doing that so that I can get a little bit of extra XP, and I really actually... Nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and barrel roll this guy. I super love the trophy you get from the Carno hunt. I got it in the beta, um, and I definitely want to put it in the treehouse base. That's going to be, like, the first decoration I get. So my goal here is to um, do this Carno hunt whenever I see a Carno nearby and go ahead and get myself that trophy. I bet we missed totally there. Oh, there's a dire bear over there too. We still need to tame one of those. Awesome. So that's a Carno down. I'm gonna go ahead and take all that hide. I'm still collecting hide for some saddle blueprints I have. Um, 
it is a lot of hide. I think I need something like 5,000 hide to make all of the saddle blueprints that I currently have. Uh, and I really want them because I have an Ascendant Raptor saddle and a Journeyman Anki saddle. So those are both really good, and I'm definitely going to need to um, use those, but it is really hard to get the resources for them. Okay, probably should land soon-ish here for Stam. We are doing really good, though. Because I don't think we've landed more than, like, once. Here, let's land on this log. Okay. And take a break from all of the laggy craziness. That's a really cool-looking bear. What is it? Can I... Yes. Okay. So you can pull out... What's a level 90? That's not too bad. Bears are really cool, and they're super strong, so we definitely want to tame one of those at some point. Oh, that was almost a crash. It drives me absolutely crazy. I really, really wish they would um, be able to optimize the flyers. It's, it's a huge problem. I have a good device. I hardly ever get any lag. Um, so for me to be lagging out means that it's got to be lagging out for just about everybody. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who can't even use flyers, even if they can play the game because of the, the lag. All right, let's see. This area might not be too bad. There's a lot of Argies around, but we are close to, like, the mountain and the river there, so there's a lot of resources available right here. I also really like this end of the Redwoods um, over by the entrance to Smuggler's Pass. Let me see if I can find it. It's a ways. Go faster. Yeah. Whoops, we almost killed a Pteranodon there. And a few RGs in the area. All right. That's good, actually, because we are going to need to tame an RG, and I definitely want that to be a thing. Okay, so somebody has built a platform here. Ooh, leg. And that's a tree sap farm. Okay. So there's plenty of space for us. We could build anywhere in here, really. Um, it's just going to depend on how close we want to be to resources like water and metal and all of that. And if we get a couple of good flyers, it's not really going to matter. So I'm super excited. And we probably will create an outpost by the ocean or something just so that we, uh, oh, that's a good base. All right. So they've already built up around here. So maybe we'll go this way. I'm, I don't have a platform with me. I'm just kind of scoping out what my options are right now. I do like this area. So we could build a tree platform right here on the edge of the redwoods. Um, there is water all beneath us. There's tons of leeches in this area, I believe. Um, yeah, this would be a pretty cool area to build in, I think. I like being near resources. I like being near, near the swamp, but not in the swamp for this series, I think. And then it's still not too far away from things like metal and all of that. All right. Oh, the lag. Oh, the lag. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, I do apologize. That has to look really bad on the video. Um, it certainly looks bad on my end. Can we land? Maybe? All right. So someone does have a base over there, which is not helping. So if we build back in that area, just where the water is, we should be okay. Right by this little canyon. Excellent. And then we'd have like a natural area to uh, pen our dinos in as well. We could just kind of block that off with some gates. And we would be all set, I think. All right. So this is the plan, guys. This is where we are going to live. Um, once I get a tree platform built, we are going to move out here and house everything kind of in this area. So I'm super excited about it. Um, I hope you guys are too. I've been meaning to move to the Redwoods for a while now. I realize we're not that far into the series, so we have plenty of time left to do all of this. But uh, I did want to get a spot before everybody else came and took all the good ones. So it's a thing. Okay, can we... Yes, we can move. Beautiful. This is what flying should be like. Just, just nice. Okay, and that's what it shouldn't be like with the lag. <laughs> Ugh, that lag. It drives me insane. It really does. Um, that's like one advantage of having 
an RG, I would say, is that because they fly slower, they lag less. Um, so that is something to think about. Like, speed is great, but when you're on a flyer, speed maybe is not your friend because it might crash your game. Cool. All right, and then we have the entirety of the swamp here before us, which is just beautiful, and I do want to build in the swamp at some point. Maybe we'll do that in, like, another series someday. Not this one, because we already have a plan for this one, but definitely someday. Maybe we'll build on, like, a platform like that. Okay. Cool. So, let's see here. I think that might actually be plenty long enough for this episode. Maybe we'll go find one more Carno to kill before we end things off. Um, since we are getting quite a few levels on this lovely Pteranodon, it's so high level, I'm really happy. If we can find a high level male, I would love to do a breeding of a Pteranodon. It is one of the few creatures that I feel just is like extra amazing when you imprint it. I mean, obviously all creatures are better when you imprint them, but... I don't know, the barrel roll attack is so strong that when you combine it with like a 30% increased damage boost like you can get um, from imprinting, it becomes like super powerful, like too strong really. You can take down Brontos with just a Pteranodon, which is, which is kind of crazy. Where is this Carno? I see a Sarko. I don't see a Carno. Can I pull out my map? Oh, I can. It's behind me. It's down here. It's in the swamp. They're always in the swamp for some reason. And I haven't tested out whether... He's right there. I have not tested out whether or not landing on the water will dismount you. Um, I'm willing to bet that it does, and I really would rather not have that be a thing. Okay. Let me go ahead and do this. I should be perfectly fine in this area. I have um, a pretty good pike and a pretty good bow. So as long as I'm okay and keep stuff off the pteranodon, we're all fine. Can you not? All right, nice. What did we get? Did we get anything good? Not there. What about here? Not there either. All right, I don't want any of that. Okay, so before we die, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the Tranodon and fly away. Get away from all the lag. All right, so I'm gonna head back towards base now um, and start grinding up resources to make ourselves a tree platform. Hopefully that'll be in the next few episodes where we'll be moving. We also are going to be doing some saber tooth taming pretty soon here to get ourselves a really good caving dino because we definitely are going to want one of those. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, yes. If you did enjoy, please do remember to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. You can also follow me on social media, which I have linked in the video description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.